Well, I hope you enjoyed that story about sex. And hopefully, I've got your attention to think about quality. You know, quality is sort of a meta term. It's a term that's at a high level in language in terms of its abstraction. It's kind of like God or love. It's defined very individually by each person, and it's based on our own sense of uh, what we feel is appropriate. And when we think of this term, one of the things is it makes it very difficult to define it in an objective way. And when we take a look back in history, for instance, before the Industrial Revolution, which created industrial engineering and management, what we see is that quality was very much defined by an individual craftsman, what they were able to do and how they were able to instinctively understand what it was their client would consider as beautiful or effective or aesthetic. And so we see, have seen since the very beginnings of time that the definition of quality of a craftsman was as a confluence or the combination of function and form. And when it comes to function, we think about the actual performance of a tool or an object that a craftsman creates, and also its ergonomic capability, how well it will conform to the person who's using it. So if I'm making a suit of armor, does it fit the body? Is it comfortable? Will it, it uh, allow the person to actually have freedom of movement? So ergonomic is one of the issues that has to be done to, to make quality work for a person. But it also has to have form. It has to look good. You know, you want it to be intimidating to your enemy and attractive to the young lady who gave you the scarf when you're going to fight on the field of battle. And so what we see is that quality is actually observed when we bring form and function together. Now, the way we bring form and function together is in the form of a product or a service that we deliver. In addition, we see that the way we do this is a process for creating that discovery process. And so, what I want you to do is now think a little bit about this idea of quality being related to form and function, process and the object that's delivered through the process, whether it's a tangible product, or an intangible service. So again, we have another question for you to go take a look at. So enjoy your discussion, and we'll be back with you soon with a third part of this series.